Brawl Stars has had some insanely broken brawlers over the years, but here are the 11 most broken brawlers that they have ever released. Now, some brawlers are broken on release, and some others have found themselves on this list long after they are introduced, like our first brawler, Colt. Now, it's not so much that Colt himself was broken, but more so when Brawl Stars introduced gadgets and decided to give Colt an incredibly broken one called Silver Bullet. Now, Colt still has this gadget today, but when it was first introduced, it was the thing of nightmares because not only did it break walls, pierce enemies, but it also dealt an incredible 3,100 damage with one single shot. Now, it eventually got nerfed a month later, which was only half the time that players got to enjoy Shelly's star power, Band-Aid. When it was introduced, Band-Aid didn't just heal a set amount like it does now. It healed Shelly to full health whenever it went off. And for a full two months, Shelly was the go-to pick in Showdown because, well, I mean, you basically had to kill her twice. This made Shelly one of the most broken brawlers in Showdown, and no matter what map you went into, you were pretty much guaranteed to see a Shelly because she effectively had 10,000 hit points that you had to deal with. That last brawler was cool, but not as cool as our sponsor today. Your favorite party game, Stumble Guys, has just launched a brand new FPS mode in collaboration with Nerf, where you are set in an arena with 32 other players from around the world and try to be the last stumbler standing. This mode is super fun as you blast others, try out different Nerf guns, all while grabbing power-ups and dodging other players' shots in a brand new arena. And this new map, Blaster Base, can be played in custom party mode. This is the perfect opportunity to add your friends using the friends list feature, load up a game, and see who can earn the bragging rights. Of course, you can always play in the classic way as well, where you try to outrun, outjump, or even outlast your opponents over three different courses. There are also some brand new stumblers, emotes, and footsteps out this month for you to get. Some really cool ones like Mr. Stumblebot and Lieutenant Dogface. Slap on a cool run animation like this pirate flag and hop into a game with your friends. And you can do this right now because Stumble Guys is available by clicking the link in the description. Go check it out and hey, add me to your friends list. Big thanks to Stumble Guys for sponsoring today's video. Enter 8-Bit and his extra life star power. Now this star power was even more broken than Shelly because when you died you got to respond with full health and full ammo. Oh yeah, also you were invincible for three full seconds. This was so broken that over the next seven months it was nerfed not once but three times in an effort to balance this star power and finally the decision was made just to pull the plug and replace it with his new gadget, Cheat Cartridge. However, this ability was not the only thing in Brawl Stars to get a long list of balance changes because Colette was so broken that it took eight balance changes to unbreak her. This was, however, not like the others. You see, Colette was broken in a bad way. She was such a terrible brawler that without using her super, she was unable to kill Tick with his well-oiled star power. He could literally just passively outheal her damage just standing there, doing nothing. Now, just six days after her release, she was emergency buffed four times. That made her better, but still weak, and eventually received two more boosts, which finally made her usable. But what wasn't usable were our next two brawlers, who were also broken, but again, in a different way because upon release of both Gene and Willow, both brawlers would literally break the game, causing it to crash whenever they used their super. Now in both instances, Brawl Stars had to immediately go into maintenance and fix the bugs. Willows were so bad that they just disabled her so that nobody could play her. I mean, imagine getting that brand new brawler that you were just really excited for just to have that excitement squashed and the brawler disabled. That was not a good look for sure, but perhaps better than letting a brawler on a loose that just ruined the fun for everyone, which is exactly what happened when the new brawler Surge came out. Surge absolutely dominated the meta when he came into the game. He was everywhere. Now you think Spike's curveball is obnoxious? Well, it was nothing compared to Surge's main shot. Now, currently in game, when you equip Surge's star power to the max, when you hit a wall, the shots split and deal collateral damage. However, on its release, 
His shot did this without even having to hit anything at all. And if you got him to rank four, you could control a massive area of the map and deal consistent damage without even hitting anyone at all. Just like fire your shot around the brawlers and you were guaranteed to get some damage. It was incredibly oppressive and lasted for over a month this way. Now eventually they nerfed it so that the projectile split range was decreased, but even that wasn't enough because they went back to the well just three weeks later and changed his star power so that it did not split when it reached max distance. But Surge wasn't the only brawler who had a crazy AoE because when Sprout was released, he was truly broken in multiple ways. First off was his super. Now currently in game, if Sprout places a wall and you're just spawning, you can walk through that wall in your invincibility bubble, which destroys the wall. However, this was not always the case. He was able to use this wall to troll enemies as, as, as well as teammates, trapping them in the goal wall, cycling his supers that you could actually get very easily because it was almost impossible to miss a shot with Sprout. This was all thanks to his overgrowth star power because not only is there no cooldown on the ability going off like there is now, but the radius of this shot was absolutely massive. That's what she said. All you had to do was just get close to somebody with your shot and you were guaranteed to get some damage. People couldn't run from you and trapped enemies could do nothing but let you have your fun while they stood there watching. And sometimes watching is all you could do back in beta too, when Mortis was broken. Mortis has had a long history of being very hard to balance, from being nerfed multiple times after release to being buffed not long after that. But he is one brawler that caused the change of an entire game mode by himself. You see, Mortis used to have a very long dash. It was like Coiled Snake, but with every single swipe. Now, as strong as this was, the place where it was really broken was Brawl Ball. Now when you kicked the ball back then, it didn't use up an ammo shot, which allowed you to kick the ball and dash three times consecutively and in quick order. You could get past enemies, cover a ton of ground, and do so in a very short amount of time all while controlling the ball. Now this put Brawl Stars in a very weird position because Mortis was not a very good brawler in almost every mode during that time, but he was very good in Brawl Ball. So. Nerfing him meant making him worse in almost every single way. So to combat this, they changed the rules of the entire game mode so that when you kick the ball, it used up one ammo. Now this doesn't sound like a lot, and with this change, you could still dribble the ball, but not nearly as effectively as before. Now while Mortis changed Brawl Ball for everyone, Leon was broken, but only for those who were lucky enough to get him. Now Leon is a fan favorite as most players tend to like assassinating each other, but unless you had Leon in the first four days he was released, you never got to experience the true meaning of Broken. Currently in game, when a Leon gets close to you, you can see him through his stealth, giving you a small chance to respawn. However, this was not always the case. Upon release, when Leon went invisible, you could not see him at all, even if he was directly on top of you until he attacked. And at that point, it was kind of too late anyways, because the damage he dealt was crazy. To make matters worse, his super lasted 10 full seconds. I mean, you could cover almost an entire map while invisible and pretty much kill any brawler you wanted to at will and recharge your super while doing it. And because of that, Leon was arguably the most broken brawler ever, but it only lasted for a very short amount of time and most people never had a chance to experience him. Unlike Rosa, who was only a rare, and everyone had. When Rosa came out, she was, in my opinion, the most broken brawler in existence. There were three reasons for this. First off was her super, which lasted for a full six seconds, which is twice as long as it is now. And it reduced the damage by a whopping 80%. And to make matters even worse, she got this incredibly broken super back in just nine hits, which is just three normal shots. And of course, all you have to do is just get close to somebody in auto aim. But it didn't stop there because her star power grow light gave her 300 hit points back per second while in the bushes. Now, in Brawl Ball, you could just pop your super, grab the ball, and walk it in from half court, and unless they had a Shelly or a Frank to stop you, it was GG's. Now this insanity lasted for four days before she was nerfed, but 
Even then, it took two more months and seven more nerfs before she was not obliterating everyone in the entire game. So for those reasons, I think Rosa is the most broken brawler to ever be in Brawl Stars. It's almost like Supercell does it on purpose.